Hey everybody, it's DataBits here. Today we're going to be talking about this Maytag Centennial Commercial Technology Washer. It is a model number MVWC360AW0, for those of you who uh, care about that sort of thing. Uh, this particular washer is one of the new HE washers, high efficiency washers, and recently we picked it up at Lowe's. At uh, I think we got it for $551 or so, right? Um, I also have with me today, uh, for this review, I have Mrs. Databits with Hello. me. So I wanted to give you a male and a female perspective because I know a lot of you females out there care about uh, washer machines, quality, and uh, experience as well. So uh, I'm not a user of the washer except on occasion. But uh, Mrs. Databits uh, uses it quite often, so she's going to chime in here in a little bit and uh, tell you what she's thought about it. We've had it, uh, what? How a week. A week. We've had it a week now, and we've been able to uh, put it under, under some scrutiny, and uh, we'll tell you about that. Now, this is the front of it, and it looks like most of the models. You have your deep clean on-off switch, your temperature, your uh, main dial there in the center. And then you have your fabric softener added and your extra rinse switch there on the right. And we're going to open this up and let you see what it looks like on the inside because that's a very important thing. So the new high efficiency washers do not have an agitator on the inside. As you can see here, there is no agitator. So what does that mean? Well, there's a lot of hatred out there for this particular washer and I think it's because people don't really understand the technology and what's happening is is the washer goes through a uh, a sensing cycle as explained here on the lid which I can't move the camera back up far enough yet um, and what it does is it goes through and senses the amount of laundry that you have and it adds just about uh, just enough water to soak your clothes and then the the laundry gets rotated in a circle around this uh, kind of a simple agitator down here at the bottom of the um, uh, tub okay so uh, it's a little bit different as far as the way it sounds and what it does when it's washing uh, it does not sound like a normal washing machine and it doesn't fill up with water it doesn't uh, submerge your clothes in water so uh, our first uh, washer that we got to replace our old one which was an Admiral uh, the first one we got at Lowe's for the President's Day sale was a GE and it never even made it uh, through a first wash cycle before the thing died so now I will say that uh, Mrs. Databits has been making her own soap and she uses these ingredients over here uh, this is data bits. Can you tell us what uh, what you use here? Arm and Hammer washing soda and borax and oxy um, oxyclean. Um, and I also use a bar of soap that gets graded. And those things get mixed with water, and I mix them into a five gallon bucket. And this is what it looks like, and it's, it's, it does not suds when you use it. See, it has a different texture. Okay, so that qualifies as a high efficiency soap, right? Because it Correct. doesn't suds. Correct. Right, so your high efficiency um, soaps are the ones that aren't going to suds up, all right? So if you can make your own, like we do, then great. You, then you will be doing uh, quite wonderfully. You can find the recipe for it online. Okay. So what we wanted to do was uh, not only give you the technical aspects. I mean, we don't want to spend too much time on it because you can find that stuff also here on YouTube somewhere. But uh, we wanted to kind of give you our perspective on it. Um, so I know that the only reason that, that uh, the missus and I decided to uh, not... Well, the first we decided not to get this washer... And the reason was because of the bad reviews that we read online. 
And then when the GE died that we bought, we decided, well, we'll give it a shot. So uh, after a week's worth of use, what do you think so far? So far, I like it. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, it seems to clean our clothes well. No, no jumping across the basement. It stays level. And uh, I have no, had, had no problems with it. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put a load of laundry in for you so you can kind of see it get going. Uh, we're not going to show you the whole process of uh, the laundry wash, but kind of give you a perspective of what it's going to sound like. So if you want to, go ahead and uh, throw some clothes in there. And this is, this, is the, uh, this is not tied. I just use this bottle to mix up the detergent uh, because I have to add, it adds more water to it. Okay, so we're just going to use one cup of uh, laundry detergent there, and she puts it in first, and then loads the laundry in on top of it. And I think you could do it either way, but that's just my preference. Okay. You'll notice here on the lid, it actually tells you a little bit about what's going to happen here. Um, right here, it shows that the, uh, the sensing status indicator will light, and the lid lock will cycle three times. The sensing process may continue two to three minutes before the washer begins to add water. During sensing and the wash cycle, you will hear operating sounds and pauses that are different from your traditional washer. All right. And they do recommend that you put your clothes around this in the bottom, not pile it on top of the little agitator, um, agitator down there. type thing in there. We'll call it the baby agitator. It's just a... It's just a little baby one down there. So you can fill it up, but then as you fill it up, put it around the sides of the of the of the tub, right? Correct. Okay. Right. All right. And then, uh, what are you going to select for your wash cycle? I will go ahead and select normal because there's there's nothing really. Um, I mean, the jeans are a little bit heavy, but they're not um, they're not that heavy. Okay. And normal, regular, because our clothes aren't, I mean, the kids haven't been out playing in the... In the dirt. In the dirt and everything. Yeah, it is winter time when we're making this, so no reason to go out. Then we push start, and that was the lid lock. So there's the first unlock there. And notice that the sensing light is on. And you just heard a little whirring of the motor on the inside. Well, one thing's for sure, it is nice and quiet. So we can only assume at this point that the washer is sensing the height of the clothes in there, right? Looking in to see what's going on. Of course, we don't have a glass lid, so we can't uh, show you what's happening in there. Although I did read online that the lock that's on the underside of the, of the lid, you can unscrew it and stick it into the switch, and then you can bypass the... Um, the lock and watch your clothes spin, but uh, due to safety reasons, we're not going to recommend that you do that. And there goes the water. So to wrap this up, we uh, we would highly recommend this washer. We've had no trouble with it. In the first week we've had it, our clothes come out nice and clean. And the uh, the big advantage to having this machine, obviously, is it's supposed to save you water. And uh, maybe we'll do a follow-up uh, review and let you know whether or not uh, our water bill has uh, gone down drastically. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, go ahead and pick you up a Maytag Centennial washer today if you want.